The Caribbean nation of Haiti is one of the poorest nations in the Americas. It has been in the grip of a political and an economic crisis ever since the July 2021 assassination of the then president, Jovenel Moïse. Criminal groups now control nearly about 80% of the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area, where some more than 200 gangs operate with impunity. More than 600 people have been killed in just the month of April alone in the violence in Port-au-Prince. And for several months now, the United Nations has asked the Security Council to send a specialized force to help the Haitian police to restore law and order. Haiti is in danger and urgently in need of assistance. The security situation in Haiti today is comparable to countries at war. A nation of more than 11 million people has been taken hostage by an estimated seven major gang coalitions. Some 200 affiliated criminal groups operate with impunity. Routine gunfights take place between the police and gang members and bloody turf battles have left hundreds dead and thousands displaced. In the month of April alone, more than 600 people were killed in a new wave of extreme violence that hit several districts across the capital. According to information gathered by the Human Rights Service of the UN Integrated Office in Haiti. This follows the killing of at least 846 people in the first three months of 2023. That brings the total so far to 1,446 people killed. And this is in addition to 393 injured uh, over the past three months, 395 kidnapped. In the conflict-ridden country, half the population finds itself below the poverty line. 4.9 million people are facing acute food insecurity. Haiti's crime rate has doubled in the last year. Terrorist attacks, destruction, kidnappings, theft, assassinations and rape are the modus operandi of the gangs. Needless to add, these brutal tactics enacted by gangs are deeply troubling. Gang violence is expanding at an alarming rate in areas previously considered relatively safe in Port-au-Prince and outside the capital. The horrific violence in gang-ridden areas, including sexual violence, particularly against women and girls, is emblematic of the terror afflicting much of Haiti's population. With gang violence expanding at an alarming rate, locals began to take things into their own hands. Lack of police presence in such gang-afflicted areas did not help matters. 13 suspected gang members were beaten to death and set on fire by a mob in Haiti on 24th of April. It was the most horrific vigilante violence witnessed in the recent history of the country. Later the same day, six more gang members were allegedly killed by the police and burnt by residents. Sensing the urgency and desperation, police pledged to crack down on unrelenting gang violence, which has paralyzed weights of Haiti's capital. Additionally, they have urged Haitians to end the grisly vigilante killings and instead contact police in case of suspecting anything unusual in their neighborhoods. Haitian police are exhibiting a newfound resolve to fight the menace of gangs. What remains to be seen is that will the international community help the Haitian police in its fight against these criminal groups?